Almost 50,000 Syrians, among them some rebel fighters, have been trapped in this makeshift camp for years. There is nothing to sustain normal life in this remote desert area where the Syrian, Iraqi and Jordanian borders meet. They are also besieged by Syrian government forces, but now they have another worry. They fear for their safety. The U.S. decision to pull out of Syria is causing concern because there are no safe roads for us to leave to the north where the opposition is in control. Very few don't want to return to government-controlled territory because they fear arrest and forced conscription in the army. The camp is within an area that's nominally under some U.S. control. American troops are in the nearby Tanif base. They are there to block a land bridge connecting Tehran through Iraq into Syria and Lebanon. It's not clear if Washington will give up the base once it withdraws its troops from northeast Syria. But Jordan's call for the camp's closure and the return of the displaced Syrians to their villages is causing concern. We ask whoever can help us to open safe routes for people to leave, either to government-controlled territories or rebel-held areas in northern Syria. Let people go wherever they choose, but we need to get out of here. Conditions in the camp make it unlivable. At least eight children have died in December because of a lack of food and medicine. The United Nations says this is a man-made tragedy. The last time relief aid reached us was two months ago, and the UN promised that they would return in less than a month, but they haven't come yet. It was in November when aid reached for the first time in almost a year. The United Nations says it has verbal approval from Damascus and Moscow for a new aid convoy. They are hoping to reach those in need in the next few days. The camp lies within a U.S.-Russian agreed de-escalation zone. All sides accuse each other of hindering the delivery of aid. The Syrian government siege of Rukban is a tactic that it has used in the past in rebel-controlled areas to bring about a surrender. This time, however, the United States is accusing Damascus and its Russian and Iranian allies of using aid to pressure Washington to leave Tanaf. There are reports the Trump administration plans to keep troops in Tanaf base to counter Iranian activity, despite its planned withdrawal from the northeast. Regardless, the Syrians in Rukban will remain pawns as rival powers vie for spheres of control. That is why they say they want a UN-guaranteed safe passage to the opposition-controlled north. Zena Khudr El-Shazira, Beirut.